Welcome to Math with Mr. J. In this video, I'm going to cover how to convert decimals to fractions. And at the top of your screen, there's a very important note that we need to keep in mind as we convert the six decimals on your screen over to fractions and then whatever other problems you may have where you need to do decimals to fractions. And it says, think, what place does the decimal end? And you'll see exactly what I mean as we go through these examples. So let's jump right into number one where we have four tenths. Now that decimal ends in the tenths place. So that's going to be the denominator for our fraction. Again, wherever the decimal ends, that's going to be your denominator. So four tenths, then we take a look at what number is behind the decimal. And we have a four, so that's our numerator. So four tenths as a decimal, four tenths as a fraction. They are equivalent, they hold the same value. One's a decimal, one's a fraction though. Number two is similar to number one, but not the same value. It's going to have a different denominator. Because again, what place does that decimal end? And it ends in the hundredths now, because we have that placeholder zero that pushes the four to the hundredths. So our denominator is 100. Our numerator is still four though, just like number one, because we only have a four to the right of the decimal. So four hundredths as a fraction. Number three, what place does our decimal end or go to? And it goes to the thousandths. That three is where it ends. So 1,000 is our denominator. Now the number to the right of the decimal is 603. So we have 603 thousandths. Number four, we, we are going to have a mixed number. So a whole number and a fraction. So our whole number is going to be this one. And then we have 88 hundredths. So the decimal ends in the hundredths place. So we have 100 as the denominator. And the number to the right of the decimal is 88. So 1 and 88 hundredths. Number 5, we end in the thousandths. That's where the 2 sits there. So the decimal ends in the thousandths. So our denominator is 1,000. And the number to the right of the decimal is just a two. So we have two thousandths. And then number six, we have another mixed number here where we have a whole nine. The decimal portion ends in the tenths. So that's our denominator. And we have a numerator of five. So nine and five tenths. So there we have it. There's converting decimals to fractions. I hope that helped. Thanks so much for watching. Until next time, peace.